Hey, today we're gonna tour the new Stony Bluffs community. It's a super location. It's practically surrounded by golf courses. We're gonna check out the Buchanan model, which is a terrific home. You're gonna love this one. And the price too. It's five bedrooms, three and a half baths, over a full finished basement. It's got a striking three car garage, deluxe kitchen, eye catching gathering room. I mean, it's got soaring beam ceiling. It's really eye catching. We're at Stony Bluffs, a new neighborhood by Dries Homes. Uh, we're standing in front of the Buchanan model. Well, I'll just let you take a look at this. This is really a pretty, pretty home. It's got that beautiful three car garage, really tough to beat. This home is 3,600 square feet. It's got a full finished basement and uh, you've got that three car garage. So when I'm all done with the tour here, uh, I want you to guess the price. Put your answer down in the comments down below there. And I think when you hear the answer, you're gonna be surprised. You're gonna go, you're kidding, right? Okay, hey, let's go take a look. Okay, we're in the Buchanan by Dries. In the front door, nice wide entryway, tall ceilings. Dining room right off the uh, entryway here. It's got a neat little door into the kitchen with a butler pantry. Gotta love that. And then you're right into the kitchen and everything is open. Really nicely laid out. Lots of counter space. Tucked in back here, you've got a monster pantry. Like bomb shelter quality. And then here's your door from the garage. You've got a powder room right here. And then, uh, well, you could add hook, hooks here, or book bag hooks, or whatever, place to sit down, put your shoes on. Get back to the kitchen, nice big bar, three stools, an overhanging counter, big sink. I like the white. Double ovens, everything's whirlpool. Got a gas range. If you've ever cooked on gas, you, you do not want to turn around and go back to electric. Okay. This is an eight top here. If you're hosting Thanksgiving dinner, you could run the table clear back there, and host about 25. Living room has the big vaulted ceiling with the beams, attractive stairway, fireplace, plenty of room for TV. Love the windows, lots of light. On this particular one, you'll notice you got the golf course, Stony Creek uh, out the back side here. This is the morning room. Very large. Lots of room here. You can have a game table, seating area, read a book, listen to music, have a cocktail. Nice big covered patio. Um, you've got a ceiling fan there. You've got enough yard without it being overbearing and how much you got to mow to take care of. This is a nice room. Let's go upstairs and see what we've got. So if you're considering moving here, you're gonna to wanna to pick up our relocation guide. It's free and there's no obligation. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy below. Okay, nice wide stairway. Got it like that. It's carpeted. Keep the noise down. Go in the first bedroom here. Decent enough size. It's got its own walk-in closet with a window so you can see whether your clothes look good in natural light. And it's got its own private bathroom. Gotta love that. Come down the hall, got some linen closets. We have two more bedrooms with a walk-in closet. Another bedroom. These aren't monstrous, but there are five of them. We've got this uh, bathroom here that's shared by the two bedrooms. A linen closet, and now we come into the master suite. Uh, now I do have the high uh, ceiling, you got the tray ceiling, which really gives it an open feeling. This room's pretty good size. You'll notice they have uh, two nightstands that are chested drawers, plus a chest of drawers here, 
and the wing chair, and there's just plenty of room in here. You have a real open feel to it. Take a look at the uh, master bath here. I guess we don't need that fan, do we? Okay, you got double vanities. You've got uh, room here if you wanted to put a makeup table or that type of thing in between the two. Really nice tiled shower. You got the rainforest uh, shower head plus the regular shower head. You've got a seat. Hey, that's pretty. Uh, linen closet, toilet room, and you have the uh, master bedroom closet divided. So there's no fighting, right? Well, yeah, sure. Okay, a lot of nice shelving. Could use a shoe rack, I'd say. Okay, nice master bath. Nice ensuite suite all the way around. Okay, view from above, really tall ceiling here. You gotta love that. It really makes this room look big. Um, and every time you walk up or down these stairs, you have that feeling that uh, you're living in a really nice place. Love the beams. Let's take a look at the basement, see what it has to offer. Okay, nicely finished. Big room here. Can obviously be a TV room or a theater room, but there's plenty of room for a table or if you wanted to build a bar. Um, Multi-purpose for certain. You've got a room back here that's unfinished, which could easily be a craft room, kids play room, fitness room, take your pick. Lots of choices there. You know, that could be a, a second office as well. There's an office upstairs that the builders are using right now, so I didn't show it to you, but uh, if you wanted the second work from home office, here you go. More storage under the stairs there, and now we've got the utility room. Uh, this is really pretty good size. There's room here that if you wanted to do something with it, you could. You've got really tall ceilings in here. Uh, you gotta like that. And we have bedroom number five. Good size. Big closet. You've got an access uh, egress window there. Makes it all legal and safe. And you got a full bath. Nicely done. Okay, let's take this outside and wrap it up. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tour. Remember to uh, make your best guess down below. Uh, Dries has been doing this for 95 years. They've twice been named Builder of the Year by Builder Magazine. Okay, got your price all down? Drum roll. This home, as it is, you know, Builder's model with all the extras and everything all specced out. Hey, is somewhere right around 799. Like I said, you'd be saying, no way. Hey, if you're interested, the build time out here is about eight months, maybe a little bit less. So, hey, let's go take a look at the neighborhood. There's five lots left. You know, I was just talking to the um, Dries rep and the builder on this project, and uh, we had a very interesting conversation talking about the difference between builders and some of the things that are offered. And, you know, one of the things they do is they have a weekly update, which is really nice. Uh, send an update to each uh, new buyer uh, so that they know where the progress is on the property or where it's not. Well, all things come up when you're building and so uh, it, that communication is really key. Um, and it's also nice that he's the only builder and construction manager here in this development. So he has a real good uh, finger on the pulse and uh, that goes a long way. Hey there, over the years I've worn lots of hats in the real estate industry. So today I'm gonna to share in this video what they were, what I've done, and most importantly, how that can benefit you. Hey, I bought my first house while I was still in college. So yes, I've been a first time home buyer. And if you are a first time home buyer, I know what that feels like and I've made systems that help so that you come to learn what is going to happen next so that it takes some of that anxiety out of the whole transaction and makes it a lot more enjoyable experience. Hey, six months later, I bought my first duplex and fixed it up. 
what a learning curve that was. I can remember we were in the kitchen and we were uh, hooking up the gas range. It was the first time I'd ever done this, okay? And all of a sudden we had flames and my buddy grabs a bucket of really nasty water that we'd use to clean the floor and he throws it over on me and oh God. Now, hey, these years later, I, I ran the uh, gas lines for my entire house and for my barn put in the furnace, water heaters, everything, okay? So I learned something new every day and I still do. That work led to being a contractor. You know, we were those guys that had uh, the sign on their truck, you know, like no job too big or too small. The biggest job we ever did was we uh, rehabbed a 42 unit apartment project. I mean, we didn't take it to the studs, but it was pretty darn close. The most interesting job we ever did was we lifted a house up off the foundation, tore out the basement walls, then relayed all the basement walls and set the house back down on the foundation. Hey, because of that kind of experience, I can walk through a house with you and I can point out opportunities and I can answer your questions about, can we open up this wall or can we, whatever the case might be. Hey, and when it's all said and done, I know a guy that can do all those things that you might want done. And you know what? They do good work, they're reliable, and they're affordable. The next hat I wore was property manager. It had something like 500 tenants I was responsible for. And so today I'm an affiliate, or my company is an affiliate of the Key Renter Indianapolis North franchise. And so we can help you with all of your property management needs if you're wanting to buy a house for an investment purpose. This led to me being a builder of single family homes, apartments, condominiums. So when it comes to new construction, it wouldn't be my first rodeo, which means to you, I can be a difference maker for your benefit. Too many people have bad experiences with builders. I can put my experience to work for you facilitating successful outcomes with new construction homes. It was kind of a natural outgrowth from builder to developer and I oversaw the engineering and the state highway cuts and putting down new streets and sewer lines and water lines, building in all kinds of weather, all kinds of building sites. Remember one down in Brown County, we were literally hanging off the hillside, uh, putting up uh, siding in about 40 uh, mile an hour winds. Wasn't a lot of fun, but we got it done. Hey, I've also done planning and zoning work is my development process, and I do that for clients now. And that's something that can come in real handy when people are buying ground or want to build their own house on their own piece of ground. I did a little work way back in the day as a home inspector, which means to you I can drill down into the reports and I can work for the best outcome for you under the circumstances. For several years, I was an appraiser, conventional FHA, VA. Again, I know the drill. I know how to read the report and I know what can be done about it, which means to you have a greater likelihood of the deal closing. For 17 years, I was a mortgage lender. In fact, I grew a mortgage broker to become the second largest mortgage broker in the state that year. I know the ropes and can at times make you aware of opportunities that will literally make dreams possible in your specific situation. As a mortgage lender, one of my specialties was construction lending, including rehab financing. I can help turn a house with good bones into the home you want before you even move into it. Or I can help you to build your dream home on your own piece of ground. About 15 years ago, I worked as a commercial real estate due diligence inspector across the United States and Canada for the great uh, large Wall Street banks and investment firms. I worked all the way from Calgary to Charleston and from Toronto to Biloxi. Um, I did about 500 properties a year and this was everything from multifamily apartment projects to factories huge distribution centers, grocery stores, restaurants, hospitals, doctor's offices, retirement homes, high-rise office buildings. Hey, I got those assignments because I could walk into any market in the entire continent and come up with recommendations for these large investment firms uh, so that they could get the best value out of their properties. So, hey, if they trusted me to do that, I hope you will trust me with your situation too. Throughout my entire career, just about, I've been a licensed realtor, both here and in, and in Colorado. And I've worn a lot of hats. In fact, it's hard to find a realtor who has the depth of experience that I do. All in all, I've played a role in something like 5,000 successful transactions, which means to you, you have a high likelihood you will achieve success. So before you sign on with your brother-in-law's third cousin because she's family, Consider if you really want to put the 
uh, largest financial transaction of your life in the hands of, well, your brother-in-law's third cousin who just got their license. Bottom line, there are good reasons why 50% of my business is repeat business and another 25% is referral. My clients tell me I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate and the Living in Indiana team, bringing you the word on the street, talking Indiana real estate. We're gonna tee this up today so you can see the location and everything that it has to offer, which really enhances the house itself. Start with access. Subdivision is right here on 166th Street. Right here is I-69, the interstate. This is, oh, less than 10 minutes. Um, it will take you down to I-465, which is the Beltway, and that will take you anywhere in the entire metro area very easily. You also have State Road 37 here, which is um, the largest road in the area besides the interstate, and that'll take you straight downtown, oh, in 40 minutes down to the circle, okay? There are lots of jobs concentrated along 3769 in the Beltway. Uh, lots of manufacturing and distribution centers. You have Freedom Mortgage. You have the student loan servicers. You have Roche Diagnostics, which is a Fortune 500 company, and just a whole lot of other uh, job opportunities. Okay, let's talk schools. The kids on the north side go clear over here to the Hinkle Creek Elementary School. The ones on the south side there in uh, Cumberland uh, Park are gonna go to Stony Creek, which is about a 10 minute drive. My guess is that at some point, there's gonna be another elementary school built and these are gonna get redistricted to something closer. Uh, it just makes sense. Both will go to the middle school and high school up here. Uh, all of these schools are rated uh, a minus with the exception of the high school is A rated by niche.com and the entire school system is ranked 23rd out of 290 in the state. So it's a top 10 school. In addition to that, over here you have uh, Garen Catholic High School, which year in and year out ranks in the top 5% of all Catholic high schools in the country. And it has about 800 students. There's also a Heritage Christian School down here, which is uh, highly sought after as well. Okay, let's talk hospitals and medical care. Everybody likes to have a comfort zone in that. You have the Riverview system right here, it has the uh, very hospital that's been there forever. It was the first county owned hospital in the state. Um, you have a community uh, network hospital here on 146, and then down at Saxony Village, you have an IU Health Hospital. So you have three hospitals within 15 minutes, plus all of their ancillary buildings that surround them. You're about a mile and a half to Finch Creek Park. It's uh, new, it's 200 acres. It's uh, got a playground and a splash pad and a big picnic pavilion. It's even got a huge field house and uh, there's more to come on it. We're gonna take a ride by it, uh, walk through it a little bit later on. You also have two golf courses, public and private, and the uh, private one is a whole lot more than just a golf course. Um, it's a top rated course, but there's a whole slate of activities for the entire family, and we'll stop by there too and see if anything's going on. And then, hey, we can't leave out Ruoff Music Center. It's one of the, uh, oh, uh, really fun, places to uh, uh, spend some time in the summer around here. And uh, we'll, we'll stop in there too and see if we can get inside the gates. And then these purple areas are shopping and restaurants. And so within 10 minutes, you have all these big box stores and then you have an open air mall here at Hamilton Town Center, which um, has all sorts of neat shops and lots of good restaurants right here, 10 minutes away. We're gonna stop in at two of the area's top golf courses. Okay, I'm standing outside the Stony Creek Golf Club, which is one of two that is right in the midst of all these uh, new home subdivisions. This one was uh, built in 1990 by Sam Taylor, a third generation Hoosier designer and operator of courses for the general public. So this is their 25th anniversary. Uh, this uh, club features an 18-hole championship course, a 9-hole uh, par 3, and a nice driving range. It was the first course in the state to offer a junior league and now offers um, all sorts of, or several different leagues, 
They also offer a couple of neat things. They have a discount pass and a weekday pass and a season pass that come with a bunch of perks that uh, you might want to check out. In addition to uh, Stony Creek, which is a public golf course, there's the Sagamore Club, which is uh, a private club and a whole lot more than a golf course. But it starts with golf. This is a 18 hole Jack Nicklaus signature design course. Uh, in 2004, uh, Golf Digest named it one of the top 10 best new private courses in the country. And uh, last uh, two years ago, they named it one of the top 10 courses in Indiana. In addition to golf, you've got uh, social and activity memberships, you have tennis courts, fitness center, a junior Olympic pool, and uh, a slate of uh, youth activities during the summertime. There's uh, dining opportunities and social activities. Uh, so whether you're a golfer or not, hey, what's not to like? Check out these music and entertainment options. You won't believe all the shows you can take in. I promised you a special surprise for a big opportunity for more fun. And uh, this is Ruoff Music Center. Now it's February and things are buttoned up really tight. Uh, they'll probably throw me out if they see me back here. But at any rate, I'll flash you some photos. You've got to, you've got to think about this. This seats 25,000 people and uh, they have a complete lineup during the summer of all genres of music, all-star lineup. You can get a season pass even. And uh, ticket sales for this are just out of this world. In fact, in 2018, Ruoff sold more tickets than any other outdoor music venue in the entire world. And year in and year out, they're in the top five. I mean, just crazy. Now, if you get the uh, Premier or the Legends Pass, uh, parking passes, you can pull right up to the turnstiles, you can tailgate, you can walk right in, and then uh, at the end of the night, you don't have to sneak out early, you can stay till the very end, you catch the encore, you walk out, it's five minutes to get out of the parking lot, and you're another, what, two, three, five minutes home? Hey, it's a great time. Hey, if you'd like to know everything there is to know about moving to or living in the greater Indianapolis area, then be sure to tune in every Tuesday as we do a tour of new construction homes for sale. Then on Thursday, we walk through existing homes for sale. And then on the weekend, we take a look at what it's like to actually live in Indiana. Now keep in mind, whether you're buying or selling, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. If you found this helpful, you'll love this next video. Watch this one right now.